on Mount Cobb, Pennsylvania. A real happening place. If you happen not to live here. It's a hot fall edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants. That's right, everybody. It's hot today. It's hot. It is hotter than a mofo. It's supposed to be like 90. Here we are the last week of September, and it's been in the 80s, and now we're going into the 90s. But relief is on the way, and people will bitch next week, of course, because next week temperatures in the morning are going to be like 40, and I think highs are going to be in the 60s or something. But the last two or three days, good Lord, it feels like it was the end of the world with the sun. It's so damn strong. But that's not what I have to rant about. What I have to rant about today, cell phones. That's right. Cell phones are being made like complete crap, basically. Like the one I'm recording on, this LG phone. This LG phone basically fell literally three inches and landed on its back on the case. The front of it, the whole screen is so shattered, it isn't funny. It's crazy how shattered the screen is right now. And it fell on its back three inches. Its sister phone, which is an LG phone, which is what I had before this one, also cracked. I think that one fell on the desk when it cracked. Then... I've got my phone. I've only had a couple months. My TG and company is Luna. Luna. New phone. Aluminum. Gorilla Glass, like three, four, eight, whatever the fuck it is. It fell. In my car, the door sill. Yeah, you like that little maneuver there? The the door sill and it fell onto the floor uh, uh, outside the car that was about four inches and again fell on its aluminum back and cracked the crap out of the screen this Gorilla Glass stuff sucks okay it, it all this hype this is why people with iPhones have all these broken iPhones I'll tell you what now granted the mic's not working right on it my ZTE Grand Max Plus. Like a six inch freaking screen or something, all right? This thing has dropped out of freaking trucks. I don't even know if it has Gorilla Glass or not. And it's not the greatest case in the world either. No issues at all. Best is this old LG that I still use. Okay? Small little thing. It's like eight years old. Never broke. Yes, the screen's like scratched up now. This thing's falling out of freaking tractor trailers. Literally. Never broke. E even the bag. Everything is still fine on it. There's really not even any nicks on it. Did they make all these new phones are just made like complete crap anymore. They really, really are. They're made like complete freaking crap. And I think that's to get you to buy another phone. Because it's, it's, they know the phone's not going to last. You know, all these promos, all these things they have. Like AT&T. Uh, now, I haven't had a contract in, like, centuries anyway. At least 10 years or more. Um, you know, this thing, replacing you could replace your phone, like, every two years. Or every year, you pay so much a month type of thing. Oh, but you want the equi you want the equipment insurance. That's, like, another 10 bucks a month. Oh, but the deductible's, like, two, $300 or whatever, depending on the type of phone you have. You have a four hundred dollar phone and the deductible is like one or two hundred dollars or some shit like that. Crazy, crazy, because they know your phone's gonna break. And everybody will say, "Oh, why'd you get one of those auto boxes?" Go on their website. They only make them for like literally the brand new models that just come out, and then after a couple months, they don't even have them anymore. Like it's crazy. That's crazy too. I'm just totally disgusted with cell phones. Totally disgusted. All the bull crap with them. It, 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 I have so many cell phones that the freaking doesn't read SIM cards right, or the freaking uh, memory cards don't read right anymore. It, 
they're made like crap. They make it too damn thin, first of all. You sneeze on some of these phones and you're bound to freaking break them. It, it, biggest... But, you know, people are stupid. People are stupid and they'll pay anything for a phone. Like, I can't wait to see how many of these morons line up to get, you know, the iPhone with a 10 or whatever the heck it is when it eventually comes out for like $1,000. And I, I bet you your puppy sneezes in the next room and your freaking screen will crack because it'll have Gorilla, gorilla Glass 8,967 as the model number. And, you know, a speck of dust lands on the moon and your phone's going to crack, basically. But anyhow... That's enough about bitching about cell phones, I guess, today. For now, at least. Well, that, my friends, is all I have to say about that.